Hey, hello and welcome back to another video. So today we'll be taking a look at the Horror Survival 2.0 update. So yeah, I think this actually this update actually came out not long after I did my review of it. So yeah, that's great. Yeah, at least I get that. At least I can squeeze an extra video out of this add on. Yay! Yeah. Yes, hello Lily. You decided to jump in the show if we stay, didn't you? You yes, did, so yeah. It's at uh, the end of the bathtub where you showered. And I got wet. Alright, oh. What this? Oh, oh, horror survival settings. This item is not lost upon death. Oh, so you got like fog and particle effects, day render fog, night render fog, soul stare jump scare, enable music, enable trader spawning, enable faceless man day spawning. Morning low tier device performance can be impacted if you are playing a multiplayer, your selection will affect other players. No one. I got 32 cursed energy used to craft armor weapons and an inventory amulet. Gain keep inventory pack power. Toggle its power by interacting with it. On off. So if I put it on, I turn. So if I turn it off, kill at P. Nice. I don't lose my inventory, so if I just game all keep inventory fault. So if I kill myself now, I do lose everything. Wow, that went there, everything like pretty correct. Like, I went. Yeah, that's loud. But now if I, oh, I'm just going to dump all of my in there, and I'll sort it out of me. But now if I take the amulet, I turn it on, I kill myself. Yeah, everything is not lost upon death. But you do drop XP. Ah. So it's a bit of a, uh... Different keep inventory than I was expecting, so it basically uh, the um, everything. Uh, so basically, it uh, sees what you drop, and then it uh, kills that, and it gives you it, and it seems uh, to it fine with all the add-ons, which is good. I n can't confirm if this works with, if I work with every add-on or what. Um, it was actually quite clever how they did that. So, got 32 cursed energy, which you can make the cursed set with, which is one of the new things. Make the uh, doom glaive with two gold ingots and a stick. So, give. At P gold two stick. Give the doom glee, which is about the same damage as a wooden. Is it a wooden sword or a stone sword that does fire? I think it's stone. Uh, plus one protection, one of the durability, part of the case armor set. Full sets gives you speed one. And it only gives you four armor bars of protection. Yeah, this set is not very good at all. I guess it's just like a, uh, I guess it's just like a set to the gate, the add-on that gives you at the beginning, just to help you. A little bit. Uh, I'm going to go in creative and see if these can be enchanted. Game one. 
So, one, two, three, four, five. Two, three. Yeah, everything can be enchanted. This max damage. Oh wait, effects inflicts po poison on them for five seconds on hit. Cool down seven seconds. Uh, it does eleven attack damage now. Your sharpness five. Right, yeah. Uh, I've got like the patch notes here, so add seven new mobs. It does not see what the seven new mobs are, but I assume the book call tell me which ones are the new ones. Uh dip it bear how many monsters are there? What are the items? 2.0 update. Base ultimate foe, uh, step into the uh, storyline and battle uh, Dracula for the, the first major boss. Seek out the cultist trader, find or summon him to trade valuable items and uh, in intimidate the boss fight again. Uh, in initiate, I think this is, uh, encounter advanced mobs, mob behavior. Just get more dangerous with new interactions and behaviors. I can't really show them off because they, you know, they don't really tell me what they are. Uh, buying specific mobs, rare encounters, mobs sp spawn less frequently, creating a more strategic challenge. Tougher foes, the base health of all mobs has increased by 200 and the base damage is increased by 100. Uh, stinger adjustment, stinger damage reduced from 15 to 10 for better balance. And abominable... Abomination Armor Rework, the resistance effect has been adjusted from Resistance 3 to Resistance 2. Alright, so this does not want to tell me which ones are the new ones. Well, it, and I doubt it will tell me in here. Alright, yeah, that's the update. Yeah, that's just my minor update. Okay. And I cannot remember what was in this. Uh, so let's, I know the, so some, some on cult. Hello. So if you give him dark essence, then I get that. Uh, you get book of summoning, altar pillar, alt, summoning altar, summoning garunic, and vampire head. So, give at p dark. Nah. Uh, hold on. S. N. Yeah, dark S. N. Sixty four. So get the book of summoning, altar pestle, vampire head, let's get an ancient tome, give, at the ancient tome, and we get this stuff. Okay, so, let's take a look at these, so, book of summoning, guide for the altar. Summon the abyss, you must uh, construct the ancient abyss altar with uh, precision warning. A large structure will spawn in the sky above each altar pedestal. You will need to place a vampire offering block. The vampire offering block is crafted by using a vampire head and a candle to place and a candle above it. Place it in the sun. Summoning altar. Okay. So someone on an altar pedestal. So 
If I just go to game mode one real quick, game mode one. So let's go away from here so we don't have it spawning like the one there. So. One, two, one, two, one, two. So yeah, two in every direction. So you put the altar there and then the pedestals around it. So altar there. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then one, two diagonally. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So if we go game mode zero, Reaper Essence, okay. But yeah, so Sidney, Vampire Head, used to craft the altar offering. So you didn't say you needed like a torch. Does it need to be done in a crafting table? Right, let's see. Yeah, Vampire Offering. Oh, I need a candle, not a torch. Give at P and candle. Vampire Offering. So, to summon you, you must deconstruct the Asian Abyss Altar with precision rolling a large structure. Above each altar pedestal, you will need to have... Okay, so each pedestal, I need one of these. So, let me go back to game mode 1. Uh, place a summoning runic above the summoning altar block. The runic is obtained through the cultist mission. So runic, summoning runic. Here it is. So do I just place that there? Uh, are you sure you want to summon one in this spawnerized structure? Confirm! Oh. Oh, I don't have my... I'm on. Oh. That's not nice on my ear. Oh. Oh, okay, how... Huh? Oh, water's coming down to let you up. Okay. I was going to say, do you need a light to get up there or something? Nope, you can just go up the water. This is pretty cool. It's like a floating castle in the sky. Honestly, I would uh, uh, make. I'll probably use this as a base once I cleared it out. I might need to knock down a few ones. Got like never war, got some bookcases. Get rid of this gravel. More never. Oh wow, a full. A whole ass enchanting table and a wither rose. And a few cool things over there. More books. More gravel.
I uh, got ores, so I got iron, coal, and gold down here. Got some diamonds, some coal. Got a couple of blast furnaces, a furnace, a uh, smithing table, a smoker. There's fire somewhere, I can hear it. I expected a bit more of a fight. Oh. Well, this looks like an arena if I've ever seen one. Yeah, oh, yeah, hello, Dracula. I should have got myself a shield or some totems of undying or something. Ow. Uh, I need to heal up. That'll just run away. Do I just run it? Oh, no. Ah. Yeah, Dracula is quite strong. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself some diamond armor. Game mode 1. Diamond. Also, I'm going to change keep inventory back to true. Um, we'll keep true. Right, so we went in this direction. Yep. And he didn't despawn, which is good. I'm just going to give myself a shield before I forget again. Black steam, yes. You may do it. Oh, he's disappeared. Oh, okay, that's a pretty good, good attack to go around shields, just disappear and reappear. Oh. And then big hit. Oh, one, two, big hit. One, two. Ah, I need to heal. Healing in bedrock is so slow. As long as just like stay in the corner and don't let go of that. Two. One, two, bat, bat, bat. Oh my god, he is taking, he has so much health. I think I bugged him out. Yeah. Well, this is a bit anticlimactic. If I just did this the first time, I would have been able to beat him easy. Stabby, stabby, stab, stab. He is awfully loud, though. I can barely hear myself think. Come on. There you go, he's dead. So, you want to be in just get 
come over here and oh are these custom these are custom blocks these are I oh, know they're walls I thought they were like uh, half slabs no they're just black stone walls Well, they were half slabs, and that's why he bugged out. Well, now he just bugged out because I was in the wall. Got the vampire trove, intellectual obtain reward. Got some dark essence from it. Generic item used to craft and trade with. So yeah, you can make this into a base, so all you'd have to do is like, uh, you, what you could do is you know, just get some spruce stairs. And just do that. Uh, and just get some strips from there, and then up there. And you just, oh, what else? Uh, I'll take a look at that in a minute, but then you could just get like some chest. Get some chairs, can put them along the walls here, so put them here. Just make this your in your base. And you can probably like build a throne over here, that'd be cool. And you can sit surrounded by all your riches and stuff. Yeah, let's give you take a look at these other stuff I got from it. Also, is that? Oh, wait, yeah, I did explore everything. There's some more. No, this is. Yeah, I did explore this, didn't I? Yeah, this is. I thought this was a different area. Okay, yeah. Well, that's probably the highlight I've been hearing. Uh, yeah. A bit small, and you could like convert the other two rooms to like uh, convert the all room into like a smeltery. Oh, how do you get into here? Oh, did not mean to break that. There's four ancient debris here on the skull, and there's no way to get in here. So, you, yeah, you just have to. You, I have to build a way up for it from here. You could do a, probably do a, like uh, I don't know. You could probably do a really uh, cool spiral staircase. I like taking out those blocks, and then these blocks, and turn this into a bedroom. Just have this as like a central pillar. Get some stairs. Stairs and like dirt build a spiral staircase like this. Probably do build a better uh, spiral staircase than, it, than this. This is just like an example of what you could do. I think that looks 
good at decent at least. And you could take the ancient debris, take the skull, skull, and just like make this into a bedroom or something. And actually, you you could like uh, take out this wall, and then it's like uh, get to some more glass, just like. And like uh, build this up, and you could have you could do something with this as well. Anyway, I'm getting distracted, but yeah, pretty cool uh, uh, structure. I, I, I am like the kind of guy that does like to like uh, take a structure and just like, uh, you know, change it to up and uh, make, you know, make it into a home. I'm just going to go into spectator, make sure I didn't miss anything. Game mood spectator. Any hidden chests or anything? I'm not seeing anything. These are all hollow. I would, if I was making this out of I would like hidden something in these. Just for like curious players that went into the went over to them. But yeah, I'm not seeing any more hidden rooms or anything. Ah, and there's more fire up here. Yeah, pretty cool structure. Anyway. Let's go check these new items out. Hold on, where's spawn? Is it over here? Is it over here? No, I was... No, it's, it's not over here, because I was... I think that's not... Oh, no, I did just chuck them off the edge. Could... I'm just gonna kill myself. Kill. That's P. Respawn. Oh, he did do a bunch of damage to my shield, though. Shield barely survived. So, I got Noble Vampire Cloth. Used to craft armor. So, that's. Go into here. We've also got vampire is a mad fact. Upon use, absorb nearby enemies' health and uh, convert it in extra healing. Uh, so, a bit. This basically uh, damages nearby hostile mobs and heals you. Uh, we've got key part seven. Then, hold on. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. It says equipment, question mark, question mark, question mark, cover survival, I don't know. Weird. So, you can use, uh, so use Noble Vampire Cloth plus Vampire Hide, which I don't have any of. So I guess I, you have to kill Dracula multiple times to get uh, the set. But you can make Dracula leggings, helmet, chest plate, and boots. So then we go into game mode one, and I'll uh, shoot them off. Drac. Chest plate, helmet, boots and leggings. So it doesn't say gave me any special. I don't know. Hmm. Made the noise that they make when uh when it activates an ability, but yeah, uh, it's at least as good as diamond. Yeah, 
weird. So hold on. So I want to check uh, the helmet. So diamond does one and a half. The Dracula helmet does two. So it's a little bit better than diamond. It's just fair seeing as how I can kill him in dark. That with diamond armor. He still does a bunch of damage in diamond armor. See, so that's. I just. I still don't know what that uh, noise is. Like, it's making a noise as if it's like activating some sort of effect, but I'm not getting any effects or anything, so I don't know what's going on with that. Ah. Oh, yeah, I didn't look into like the book of. Did you? Yeah, I did that one. Where is the other? No, that's a whole of. Uh, God damn, you get a different. Look for him. Hold on. Oh no, we used the ancient tomb. How do you get the ancient tomb? Anyway. Um. You can't craft a family, so I guess you get it from a mob drop. Right, so let me just take a look at the patch notes real quick. It says seven new mobs, which I don't know what they are because the add on's not telling me. Uh, Dracula, we did Dracula, there's three new bows, four trinkets, and three armor sets. So we've seen that two of the armor sets. Uh, Yeah, I'm guessing all these are the... Oh, there's a Vampire Hunter bear that you can make. Broodmother Silk and Bleeze Wads. So, give at P Vam Earth Hunt Turbo. Uh, on marble ground, hit something that would uh, spikes from the ground. So, if I hit him, yeah, it's something that would spike out to the ground. So I'm, oh, and it's on cooldown, so one second. Yep. So, even if you miss it, probably still going to do some damage. And it converts, uh, Tipped arrows into normal arrows. That's that, that, that other one's not great. Don't know if I can fix it. I hope I can. Then we go to game mode one and let's see if we can figure out what these moves are. Actually, I don't need to go to game mode one. I can go to game mode zero and that way I can show you the crafting recipe. So, all do. Okay, so we did the Vampire Hunter, there's the Straw Bow, which is Chad Kissed Straw and Brood Mother Silk. So give at P Straw. Boop. Uh, I'm gonna summon a flock of crows to assist in battle. This sounds cool. Where? Oh, he's gone. Here you get a bunch of crews. Buy some on the Vinny. Some on Vin. They're not really helping. Just kind of flying around doing nothing. That's not very useful. Next up is the claw bow. Uh, Chad the claw rod and brood mother silk. Let's see, what was it? The claw bow? Yeah, claw bow. Uh, summon the fangs from the depths for five seconds. 
So let's get Vinny back in here. Uh, it would help if I didn't miss. Two, one, out. Oh. Nope. Mmm. Three, two, one. Ah, uh, basically summon the Vin the Evoker's Claw thing, uh, the trap. Now, it's not very good. I mean, if you can do it from range, it might be better, but because, they're, because if they're aggroed on you, they're just going to be chasing after you, so they might not even get hit by them. So that's not very good, unfortunately. Let's see. See. And then there's four trinkets. Well, there's definitely more than four trinkets here, and I don't know which ones are new and which ones are not new. Wraith's Veil. Heart Stealer Fang. Banshee. I don't know which ones are new. Alright, so my problem with this add-on is that it doesn't... It doesn't give you enough information on what's, you know, new, what's not new, and what's in the add-on. And it kind, of, it kind of makes it difficult for me to do a review on because it's like, I look at these and it's like, ah, uh, which ones are new, which ones are old, and, uh, yeah, it makes it difficult for me. Uh, I could go back to my review and then I like, take notes of what it, which each new one, each of the old ones, but I shouldn't have to do that. I, that is just very annoying and I don't, I, I just do it. Like if, if the add-on doesn't deem it important enough to tell me what's new, then why should I deem it important to tell, to show off what's new now? Uh, you, you get what I'm saying though. It's like, why should I put all that effort in if the add-on it's, if the add-on created themselves, I'm going to put in the effort to, to tell me what's new and what's not new. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, there appears to be seven new maps for it. One. Spawn. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that because the, the add-on doesn't tell me what's new and what's not new, I'd have to go back to my old video, my video you know, of the review, to be like, okay, these are the, like, you know, down all the marks, and just like, go through all these spawn eggs and pick out the new ones. And it's just like, yeah, it's just like, why should I go through all that effort if the add-on creators can't even go through the dev effort of telling me what's new? Like, come on, guys. Um, and if you want to go through the hot, if you want to say, oh, well, we want the players to discover it themselves, well, it's like, if the players want, you just like putting it in the book, it's not going to ruin anybody's playing experience because the people who want to, the players who want to discover this stuff by themselves aren't going to read the book. And the players that uh, want to know more about this kind of stuff are going to want to read the book, and when you don't give them any information on anything, they're going to be uh, annoyed and, uh, you know, disappointed, because they're like, oh, well, I don't know what what to, like, expect or anything, and it's, you know, or what's going on, so it's just like, you're, ruin you're ruining the uh, experience for one group of players while not really benefiting anybody because like I said anybody who doesn't want to know just won't read the book so yeah the information that on like you know what's new and everything you know and all the different mobs should be readily available to anybody who you know has the add-on um so yeah but it seems good, like, like I said, again, 
I don't, I can't really tell because you have some, yeah, like, yeah, they really should, no, they really, they really need to do better at like telling you what's in the add-on. But yeah, it, there's an update, I guess, I don't know, I, I don't want to go back to my video and like, go through all the effort, just like, like you know, fill, getting everything that's all da noted down and filtering out all the old stuff and bringing up the new stuff. But I kind of don't want to just end the video like this because it is kind because I can't really tell you whether or not this is a good update because, well, like, I, I can tell you that the, like, Dracula boss fight was cool until I bugged him out uh, uh, by walking into the wall uh, and just, and then just started uh, stabbing him... So yeah, I mean, yeah. They say they added like seven new mods and some new trinkets. So, so that took, you know, that's cool. I guess it's like I said. I just don't know what's new, and I can't really say whether. Well, yeah. So yeah, hopefully, like the add-on developer will uh, release like a small update. Uh, where and the and the and the where they you know get, tell you more about what's new and the everything because yeah it just makes it and the two and the yeah and the, let me tell you if you're that if you're like an add-on developer watching this or an aspiring add-on developer uh just to make all the information about your add-on available. Like, doesn't matter whether you think it would be more enjoyable or not to, for the players to not have that information. Or at the end of the day, you are not the end consumer. It is the, uh, uh, it is the responsibility of the end consumer to decide whether or not they want the information or not. And that you should make that information available. And that if it, and you, and you can even like put a little recommendation saying, hey, here's the here's all the information, but we recommend not reading it and experiencing it blind. But here it is in case you need it. Because, uh, you know, uh, because one, it makes it easier for re reviewers like me uh, to review your add-on and show off everything that's inside of it. Inside of it, meaning that people are more likely to buy it, you know, because they know what to... You know what they uh, if it's worth their money or not, um, and it, uh, again, like I said, the people who don't want to know everything about it just won't. That's like saying uh, because that that's like saying reviews ruin games because if you watch a review, they could the review could have a spoiler in it. And it's like you just don't watch the review of the game. Like you're going out of your way to consume more information about it, and you're complaining that. Uh, that's ruined your experience of the game, even though you went out of your way to consume that media. It's the same thing here, basically. As long as you don't like force, as long as you don't force your players to read it, nobody will complain. Anyway, so yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys in the next video, and bye bye.